you tell him? Today I'll be analysing two scenes from Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction to showcase how he as a director has incorporated mise-en-scene into his film. Mise-en-scene is defined as the most recognisable attribute of a film. It focuses on the setting and the actors, which includes costume, makeup, props and all other natural artificial details that characterise the spaces filmed. In theory, the meaning of mise-en-scene is what's placed in the shot. The first scene that I'm analysing involves Vincent and Jules interrogating Marcellus Wallace's associate over a briefcase. The scene starts with the man opening a door to Vincent and Jules standing in a wide angle shot. They enter the room, closing the door behind them, which connotes the closed environment they have created. One of the associates becomes agitated by their arrival. This is shown by his instant reaction to try and get up and his nervous facial expression. However, Jules undermines this and tells him to continue being comfortable. As the scene continues, Jules interrogates Brett, who is sitting at the desk. This makes Brett naturally look up to Jules, showing he is in a weaker position and Jules is the man of authority in the scene. This is further solidified by the outfits worn by Jules and Vincent, as they are wearing suits which have connotations of power and status. We, meanwhile, Brett and his associates are wearing casual clothes, such as denim, which is traditionally worn by working class people. Tarantino also uses close-ups of Tar Jules' face while he is talking. When he cuts back to a wide-angle shot of Jules and Brett, Jules is in focus and Brett is out of focus, which further solidifies Jules' control. Cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind of hamburger? Uh, che cheeseburgers. No, no, no. Jules then tries to ease the conversation by talking about the burger that has been presented in front of Brett throughout the scene. As Jules takes the burger, he looks directly at Brett whilst eating it. This again shows the audience the power Jules has over Brett. After this, Jules offers a bite of the burger to Vincent, and we see him in the shot. This reminds the audience, as well as Brett, that he is surrounded by two hitmen. Jules even takes a sip out of Brett's drink, which denotes the audience that Jules is able to take ownership of Brett's possessions because he is in command of the situation. A wide-angle shot is used again. Jules goes over to Brett's associate, asking where the briefcase is, which shows the power is completely out of Brett's hands. Jules is in the middle of the shot and closer to the foreground, which makes him look significantly larger whilst Brett and his associates are scattered in the corners, looking smaller. This shows the importance of Jules over the other characters in the shot. The wide-angle shot is used to show Vincent looking through the cupboards no, the of Brett's one by your knees. for his briefcase. And also we can see how anxious Brett is due to his facial expression. Once the briefcase is found, we are given a close-up shot of the combination being entered. This makes the briefcase seem more important than Brett, because throughout the entirety of the scene, Tarantino never uses a close-up of Brett. Finally, this scene ends with a low-angle close-up of Vincent opening the briefcase. As he opens the briefcase, an ominous gold glow shines onto his face. This symbolises the significance of the case. The next scene that I am analysing takes place roughly around the 45 minute mark. In this scene, Mia Wallace has just overdosed on methamphetamine, and Vincent Vega is trying to rescue her from dying. The sequence starts with Vincent wildly driving his car through the streets. This signifies to the audience that he is rushing in a state of panic. Then we are given a high angle close up shot of a bloodied Mia Wallace, which makes her look vulnerable as she is laying unconscious in the front passenger seat of the car after the overdose. Meanwhile, Vincent Vega is in the foreground of the shot as he is driving the scene trying to call someone on his phone. The shot denotes how much of a state of shock he is in because he struggles to obtain his phone from his pocket and dial the number because he is clearly shaking. This scene is using low-key lighting to show the severity of the situation. This also allows the audience to see, feel how intense the scene is. As this is going on, we feel concerned for the character Mia, as she is possibly about to die, as well as feeling sympathy for Vincent because he is in panic after trying to look after her. The shot then cuts to the character Lance, who is in a total contrasted state as he is watching TV, laid back whilst eating a bowl of cereal. This scene is much more brightly lit, which connotes that Lance is enjoying his night, opposed to Vincent's. As Lance is oblivious to the events that are occurring, he is ignoring the phone call because he feels it's too late for someone important to call him at that time of day. During the scene, the phone is continually ringing, which is specifically noticeable to the audience as there is no dialogue in the scene. Lance eventually gets sick of hearing the phone ringing, and the shot connotes that he is fed up because he casually walks in a sluggish motion towards the phone. 
Once Lance picks up the phone, he immediately realises the magnitude of the situation, as he is given news from Vincent Vega. We can clearly see from his facial expression that he is displeased with Vincent bringing Mia to his home. The scene is becoming faster paced as shots are quickly jumping from the car Vincent is in to Lance's house. Tarantino uses a range of close-ups on the characters' faces at this moment to show the panic on both characters' facial expressions. You can now see the concern on Lance's face as he can't control Mia's imminent arrival. Lance now rushes to his door, which is a completely different way in which he answered his phone. He pulls up the blind of the window to his door allowing Dark to seep into his home, which signifies the problem, in this case Mia, has arrived at his house due to the low-key lighting now used in the scene. This connotes how he has realised the problem is now on his doorstep, literally, due to Vincent crashing his car into his garage and bringing Mia into his house. The use of a wide angle here shows to the audience that the situation is now out of Vance's control, as he looks much smaller in the shot opposed to before, and we even see him giving a gesture as if he is helpless. To conclude, we are looking at the character of Vincent. In the first scene, he is conducting an interrogation with his partner. We can clearly see that Tarantino has showcased him in a way which he is calm and in control, depicted by his body language and demeanour. However, in the second scene, he is in a state of panic due to being out of control of the situation. Throughout these examples, we can see how the use of mise-en-scene can affect a film and how it can make the audience feel different towards certain characters and situations. Yeah, yeah we have.